Today, we find ourselves somewhere pretty special. We got in here a day early to the summit because we are gonna shoot a little piece here with Brady Riggs on driver distance. This is with uh, Hanma, and we're doing a few episodes, so behind the scenes this morning here. We are halfway through the Hanma power practice shoot. Brady's just gone to put some sunscreen on, because thankfully, oh, the sun has come out. It is a nice day. So one of the biggest problems in my golf bag is I have a huge gap between my driver and my four iron, and I've never been happy with the clubs in between there. So today we're gonna try to fix that. We've got Doug from TrueSpec here. What's going on, y'all? So right now, you are looking at our TrueSpec mobile fitting unit. We actually have three of these that travel the entire country, going to different ranges at different clubs, fitting people in a brand agnostic fashion. So what does that even mean? Brand agnostic, meaning we have the ability to fit you for every major OEM product, every aftermarket shaft, to find out what's the best product for you. So in this, mix of individuals. You've got some great putter coaches. You've also got some great club fitters, but I'm gonna grab you Ryan Cole, who's our fitter at Pine Needles, which is six miles from where we are here at Pinehurst. And Ryan is gonna walk you through probably one of the better fitting experiences you've had. So this is Ryan. He's gonna take you through and we're gonna get you dialed in. We spent the day at the academy and over near the clubhouse, right around is Pinehurst number two. We were just able to sneak out, join some friends. We got Scott Fawcett, Mark Brody, and Joe from golf.com. We're gonna play the back nine at sunset. This place is stunning. Scott Fawcett trivia the folks at home might not know is you've played at Pinehurst before. <laughs> I did. Tell us about that. Uh, I played in the 1999 US Open here, shot a pair of 79s. They asked me not to come back on Saturday, but it was definitely one of the top top golf experience, memories, whatever. I've been trying not to wear Mark out too much with our US Open trivia here, but it's, uh, it's definitely cool to come back here for the first time ever. Obviously it looks totally different, but pretty cool. Why, why do you choose driver here, even though it seems pretty tight? Honestly, I've been really surprised at how playable, even though it's awful, the areas are, the, the waste areas, because I was thinking you'd like be actually be able to lose a lot of golf balls, and you're really not gonna lose them out here. And that changes the math so much to where aggressive off the tee, it's like Mark and I were talking earlier, if you have to give a sound bite, super aggressive off the tee is correct, and then definitely more conservative into the greens. So this would be one where it seems crazy, it's super narrow up there, but as you just saw, I had 60 yards from a bush and made birdie, <laughs> so. Mark, why super aggressive off the tee and conservative into greens? Well, if you don't have uh, penalties, lost balls, recovery shots, then generally you could be pretty aggressive off the tee. And then here the greens are effectively smaller than their 
square footage, so. Like a third. So what you're saying is because the ball isn't lost necessarily when it's off the, you know, off the ferro and not that it is okay to hit an occasional ball in the, in the, the bush or whatever it is here. Exactly, and, and, and many of the times when you're, when you're off, you're not punching straight out to the fairway. You can actually have a go at the green. When does the math change on, the, on this scenario? When does it become advantageous to be conservative off the, off the tee? Well, certainly when there's, you know, the opposite. There's penalties, one stroke, two stroke penalties, water, out of bounds, trees, deep rough. Uh, I think you, a scenario. Then, then you gotta be more careful. A scenario where you're gonna get, driver's gonna leave 100, or excuse me, driver's gonna leave 40, but your two iron's gonna be 60 yards back at 100. If it's a little bit wider at 100, that can make sense. Absolutely. But it's primarily about those penalty shots. Yeah, That's, I mean, we'll. Yeah. 170 versus 100 is a huge difference. 170 versus 100 is a huge difference. 100 versus 70 or 60 is not. It's not. So you don't want to get aggressive for just a different wedge in your hand. Especially if getting inside 100, it's getting narrower and you're going to be rough yeah. versus fairway. Well, that's basically where I use your math to show people like once, I think I think 120 in the fairway is 2.85 and 80 in the fairway is 2.75. It's like a tenth of a shot for 40 yards. That's not worth taking on really any risk. There's no risk, obviously, to take it, but if there's, if it's not, then I mean, if there is any risk, then you definitely better just lay it back on that. So you've got it. When you play Pinehurst number two, hit driver all day. <laughs> finally said you can't hit it in the trees, and I finally hit my first one in the trees. <laughs> to the podcast room here at the Academy, taking over the office, and uh, we've got some great people coming in. So much good stuff to come on the podcast. Make sure to subscribe. Uh, this is pretty good. And then we got our Pinehurst coffee. Refreshing. It's not a perfect pendulum, no. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this has been fun. Um, we've got Suzanne Pedersen stories. We've got Tim in jail in the Bahamas. We've got <laughs> Justin Rose figuring out his grip. Uh, this podcast has been awesome. We'll leave the cliffhanger of your principles for next time. Absolutely. How about that? We'll do that next time, right? Awesome. Gordon, Gordon you're still, after what, two, three years now? It's been a little while, yeah. You're yeah. still the best interview in all of golf. <laughs> I just I stay quiet and let you tell your story. All right, buddy. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Thanks Tim. See you Thanks, guys. Gordy. All right. How good was that one? What a fun morning of podcasting. This is super good. Next up, George Gankis live lesson. That's going to be good as well. Fun day here, Pinehurst Top 100 Summit. This is good. Session with 
Dr. Oh, Phil Cheatham, Terry Rolls, to go get a little putting, putter fitting with our podcast guest, David Orr, Tim Briand. Uh, this is going to be interesting. The podcast was uh, so much fun, so many good stories. So let's see what that is like on the putting green. I think what's interesting just watching you here, you aim pretty good or maybe you're slightly right. And I think you're aiming right because you pull it. Okay. And what's interesting is in the takeaway, you start the heel back first. Hmm. Show me that real quick. All right, so. So show. Yeah, so okay. show me the wrong way, yeah, where you twist it shut. Like that. Yes, and yeah. it's not even that much. Right. Okay, now aim right, and now twist it back to square. That's where I see you doing. Huh. And then on the downswing, because your timing is very quick, you have to untwist. So we're back in the podcast room here. Again, it's the end of the day, just finished. We did four podcasts today, like three different videos, got to see some amazing sessions. Such a good day. Um, we're gonna leave all this stuff here because we're gonna do it again tomorrow, a bunch more podcasts. Uh, and yeah, this has been amazing. That's wrap on day two. So it is day three, our final day here. Uh, we've got a great lineup of podcasts right off the bat, sitting down with John Tillery. We're gonna chat for a little while. Um, we've got some videos coming up. It's raining though. Hopefully we can still do those. And just another full day of amazing info here at the golf.com top 100 summit. This is just so cool. This is literally the perfect place for me to be because all the best instructors are here. I can hang out chat with all these guys, get them on podcasts and videos, and it just doesn't get any better. So huge thanks guys, uh, Luke and all, all the gang from golf.com for having me down to hang out here. All right, so this is the cradle, which is the nine hole par three course right behind us. It's right next to the putting green, right next to the clubhouse, and it is just awesome. It's been packed all week. So it just started to rain, but we're in the clubhouse right here. And you can see 18 right behind me. Um, and then you've got the first tee, the number two course over here. You've got the, the Payne Stewart and a couple other statues over there. Just a really amazing little spot here to sit and kind of think about all the history and all the cool things that have happened. podcast room has served us well sad to see it go we got some great stuff though how good was that Chuck Cook podcast that was ridiculous and that is it from the Academy just wrapped up uh, the last podcast there with Chuck Cook Learning is based on past experiences that didn't work. So we're back home. This was an awesome trip. And, and just to recap, this was all of the top 100 folks were invited down, the golf instructors and in top 100 list were invited down from golf.com to Pinehurst just to hang out. And this was my... Hello? Spam. This was just an incredible trip. It was so much fun. These three days were jam packed with videos and podcasts and content and just sitting down and talking with people. And that's what I love uh, because my job is kind of this 
this producer that goes out and I talk with everybody and try to find out what they're paying attention to, what matters, so we can bring that information to you. And so I had so many good conversations, so many good thoughts about what people care about, what they don't care about, what they're seeing working, what's not working, so that we can figure out the best ways for you, the golfer, the coach, to get better. And that's what this is all about. The Golf Science Live mission is about how do we perform at our best, how do we get better faster, that's what we're on a mission of. This is an awesome trip. Thank you, golf.com, for bringing me down. Luke, uh, thank you so much for working with me on this project. If you want to see my article on golf.com, I kind of summarized everything in a few points of what I thought was most interesting. It'll be linked down below. You should check that out. But other than that, we can't wait for the next trip, the next GSL TV episode. So much fun. Signing off.